Today I'm going to show you how to make lemon pepper rosemary chicken. Now I'm not using a store-bought lemon pepper because it's got too much salt in it. I'm going to use some fresh lemons and pepper and rosemary and garlic and uh, make it from scratch. It's really good. So I've got my ingredients. I've got four chicken breasts or two double breasts. Um, I've got about two teaspoons each of rosemary and freshly ground black pepper and then about four cloves of garlic um, or roughly four teaspoons um, of crushed garlic. I've then got six tablespoons here of um, extra virgin olive oil and then we're going to use the zest and juice of two lemons. Now I've already got one of them done and I've started on my second one here so you want to take a fresh lemon. You're going to have to wash them because you are using the zest. If you have a zester grate, um, I just use my grater here and rub the lemons back and forth across that to take the yellow part of the rind. Okay, so I've got that done. Now I'm going to cut the lemon in half and we're going to take the juice. Now if you see any obvious seeds, you can pick those out right away. The other thing I like to do is when I'm squeezing it is hold my hand so that and let the juice go through your fingers, but that way you'll catch any seeds that you've missed from falling into the... See that? Don't let the seeds through. So squeeze both halves and let all the juice in there. So as you can see there, I've done both lemons now. There's the juice and the zest from the lemons. So now we're just going to take a container that will hold all of your chicken and we're going to mix the marinade ingredients together. So put our lemon in, the oil, the garlic, and of course the seasonings. And mix those together well. Then we're going to add the chicken to that and mix it around to coat everything well. And put that chicken in the refrigerator. You want to let it marinate for at least four hours. I'm actually doing it the night before, so mine will be overnight. So you can see we've got our chicken over there. We're going to put the cover on. And close that tightly. And like I say, periodically if you like, through the day while it's soaking, you can come and shake it around or flip them over again. I'm going to leave that in the refrigerator overnight until we cook it tomorrow. Okay, so now I'm going to cook the chicken. It's been in the fridge uh, marinating for a day. So I'm going to turn the oven on to about 180 or 190 Celsius, that'd be about 350 Fahrenheit. Um, I've got a fan forest, so you might want to go just a tad bit higher um, if you haven't. And while that's preheating, we'll get the chicken out. Okay, that's been marinating um, overnight, not quite 24 hours, but for a while, and I've flipped it over a couple of times and made sure the marinade really got good on everything. So what I'm gonna do now is just take each breast out and just set it in my baking dish over here. Okay, so with the leftover marinade, I'm just going to sort of pour that over. This step is optional, but for to make sure the chicken is extra juicy, you can add about a cup of water or low sodium chicken stock carefully around the edges so you don't rinse off your seasonings. All right, we'll come back in 45 minutes. Okay, so the timer's gone off. It's been 45 minutes. Actually, it's been a little bit closer to 50. I'm going to take this out now. As you can see, it's bubbly and delicious looking. We're going to cut into one just to see if it's done inside. Okay, as you can see, I've just cut one of those open. There's no pink left inside. Juices ran clear, so this is done. And I chose the thickest one, so we should be good with the rest of them. Now I'm just going to plate them. Okay, so there it is. One breast plated with some broccoli. And I'm just going to take a little of that excess juice and pour it over the top. A little on the chicken and even some of my broccoli for extra flavor. And there you go. Enjoy. It's delicious.